good evening everyone a very warm welcome and uh, it will uh, we are going to discuss uh, in a very short manner that uh, how one should approach for this one month preparation to the INICT so first thing first when it comes to INICT we have to have a clear mindset that see uh, many of us as a student we think that uh, to crack the INICT is relatively more difficult than NEET PG uh, uh, will I be able to do this or should I only focus on the NEET PG exam or like this? Uh, I would say that it's uh, quite an achievable exam as if you are able to secure a rank in the NEET PG, you are equally eligible to get the rank in INICT. First, have that thought process very clear because if we will not have a belief on ourselves, then we are not going to achieve it. It is not. Then since there are so many seats have been increased in AIMS, uh, there are so many AIMS and other institutes, Nimaz, Jimmer, Jipmer, and so many other institutes are there which are coming under this exam. So uh, there is a quite a good, decent chance to uh, get a clinical seat in INACT also. So you are you are very good eligible. Let's let's make it very clear. Let's make a firm belief to ourselves. Let's no other than exam like uh, it's the same exam like NEET PG only. Now coming to the second part, when it comes to preparation, see, there are not a lot of things can be changed in this one month of span. But yes, there are many things which can be fine-tuned and that can increase your result drastically if you were really preparing. I would not say that if you start today and you will be able to crack the NEET-PG exam, but definitely, if you were preparing decently for the NEET-PG and INICT exam, then yes, we have a good decent chance to clear this exam rather than uh, rather I would say that one month is a very good amount of time, particularly for the INICT type of exams. Now, coming to the, the, the pattern of the paper, if you see that everyone will say that he, when it comes to INICT, there are so many repeated topics, there are so many repeated MCQs even, matlab, they are going to be exactly same word by word, which does not happen a lot in NEET PG exam that the word by word, the same questions are give, getting repeated multiple times, which happen very often in uh, INICT exam. So uh, one should be very clear with the last 10 year of all the INICT papers, all the 10 year INICT papers. Now, how to how we have to do that? See, when you do the, the INICT PYQs, Say, for example, you are doing the INICT PYQs from the doctor tutorials, and when you open that uh, PYQ section and you start doing the EMS paper one by one, one by one, you started from, for example, biochemistry. Now, what is going to happen is when a question will come from that particular, uh, any particular topic, let's say it's a talk, question of tyrosinemia, or it's a question of PCR, when you will read that, at the same time, try to read the explanation also. So that that entire topic will get covered because as we have already discussed that the questions are going to be very, very frequently repeated in that um, INSF papers. So we have to be very thorough with that particular topic, which has already been asked and it's going to have a very high probability that is going to be asked again. So that one change we have to make in our preparation of last one month that we are doing all these, uh, all, maybe you have already done those papers, but I want them, you do them again in this last one month of span. Because that is going to be a very good and to the point revision. I am not saying that just do the MCQs, but I would say that do the MCQ and read the explanation also. How good, maybe the question was being very easy. It was straightforward. You have ticked it right. But despite that, read the explanation because that is going to cover that entire topic. If the question will be asked near to that topic anywhere, you will be able to solve that. So whatever you have did in your preparation in the last uh, few months for this particular exam and whatever revision schedule that you are planning to have in the next one month, in that, try to incorporate all the last 10 year uh, question papers and subject by subject complete that with the explanation. And that way, the things will be sorted. So, so far we have discussed about two things. One, we have to have a clear mindset that uh, we just yes, definitely we are going to achieve it. And secondly, uh, I mean, uh, we, we are having a good uh, knowledge to clear this exam. And secondly, the PYQ part. Now coming to your theory part. When you are doing the, uh, the revision as every exam, one of the key integral part is the revision. 
I would not say ki all the INICT questions that is going to come in your exam is going to be the, the PYQs and the PYTs only. There will be some new topics also. There will be some new questions. So rather, a good amount of good new questions will also be there. That is also going to decide the thing. So for that, what we need to do when you are doing the revision, try to uh, divide your revision plan into uh, if you have done a good theory, then you can plan three sets. If not, then minimum two sets of revision. Uh, 20 plus 10 days. In the first 20 days, we'll do the first very quick revision. Go through your notes very fast. Because if you go very slowly and you are planning that in the last 30 days, I will complete all my 19 subjects once again, then it, the output that it is going to provide to you and the output that is going to come if you, uh, if you do two revisions, maybe a little faster, then the output of two revisions, the faster revisions will be much better rather than one good revision, two faster revision will give you more output. It will go give more confidence to you. So first 20 days, we'll do the, the first set of revision. And in the second uh, slot, in the last 10 days, we'll plan, plan for one more revision. Now coming to your day planning. In the first 20 days, how we should plan that which subjects to be done first, how, how we should do that. And when it comes to 20 days planning, in that also, uh, I if my personal opinion will be you should start with the subjects which are very strong for you because that is going to give you momentum. Unless, uh, until, I mean, if you go to a topic which is very difficult for you, a subject which is very hard for you, start with that, we lose the momentum and we, we kind of going to deviate or plan, we will change to a secondary plan which is not going to work. So start with the strong subject which you are very good. Make a list of all 19 subjects from the strong subject to the weak subject. And we always start from the strongest subject. So that is going to be very quickly done. And that will give you the confidence, will give you the momentum. So within the first day, you might do some two small subjects, maybe three small subjects. Very quickly, quickly you do. And gradually you go forward and thus the, the size of the subject will increase. The uh, def, uh, difficulty will also increase. But since you have got the momentum, you might clear that thing. And in 20 days of span, you will be able to complete your first division. Now coming to... Uh, the second slot, yes, definitely. Uh, we are going to do it very, very fast compared to the first one. And for the last day, I want that on 8th of November. The exam is on 9th. So the day before the exam, you spare one day. And what we have to do in that one day is when you are doing the PYQs or means the last 10 year INSA papers, when you are doing that, whatever questions you feel that it's very important concept. This has been asked so many times. Try to take the snaps of them. Try to take the, the images or whatever it is possible with your mobile or something like that. And on the last day, go through all those uh, points and images which you have taken from those PYQs that may be, may be around 200 topics that is going you are going to cover from all over different different subjects. And that is, that is going to enhance your confidence as well as uh, it's going to help you a lot on the day of exam because the, the moment the question that is going to flash from those images that is going to give you a lot of confidence in the exam right so we have divided our revision planning into three part 20 days 10 days and the 10 days also it's effectively only nine day on the last day we are going to do all the images images doesn't mean that image based pyqs no no whichever mcq which you find that is very difficult or which commonly asked or it's very good mcq you take the photos of them whether you know the answer you don't know the answer don't problem but with the expression take the images and on the last day you just go through those images and uh, yes then i think it's a uh, it's quite doable guys it's not that difficult also right and uh, uh, and since there are many of us have a mindset that it's so, so much difficult of exams, so much of, and that at that particular moment, half of the people are going to lose the battle because if you are entering in the field battle where you are thinking that you are not going to win, definitely you are already lost. So we, when you are entering in the examination hall, you should be entering like a winner that I am going to make it happen. And you should have a firm belief whether you have done anything or not, you are, whenever you are going in any fight, in any aspect of your life, you should enter in the battlefield. Once you are already there, then you have to have that belief that I am going to win it. How bad I am, how good I am, I am going to win it. That atti mental attitude is very much required for these games. Right? And uh, then uh, coming to the uh, 
the second when you are when you are going to do the first revision how it will be possible to do the second revision in those nine days uh, at the same time when you are doing the first revision try to mark few things so means when you are reading because the second read you will not get a lot of time right in nine days if you have to do the 18 subjects you will not have a lot of time so when you are doing the first read try to highlight or some type of marking you have to do that when you are doing the second revision you will just read these 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 things because these are the things which you tend to forget so don't invest the, a lot of time when you are doing the revision in the first row that, oh, oh, this particular gene, I may forget. So I am investing the time. I am investing. No, just mark it. Just mark it. Read it. Mark it. Whatever is going to be retained, that is fine. I will. I am going to commit again uh, after a few days. And then it will be automatically retained if I will do it for twice, thrice, right? So that way it will be done. Now coming to keep you on track. One more thing that you can do is, see, as you know that uh, we, the as Dr. Tills, we are having the, uh, the RDX series how that is going to keep you on track for this revision. See the RDX schedule that has been made in such a way that if you go through that, you are you can you can sync that thing with your revision uh, for all the 19 subjects. See, let me just show you that how that is going to help you. So well, I think I hope that my screen is visible for you. This is uh, the season three for the RDX series and uh, the first two tests is going to be free for all. It will be available on the app as well as on website. You can uh, give it there. And then the discussion is going to come on the app only. And the first two are uh, open for all. Now, if you look at the schedule, that is going to start uh, from to, uh, tomorrow. The test uh, is going to start with the medicine and then the pediatrics, the biochem, and likewise, all the 19 subjects are there. In between, in between, you are also going to have the GT. You are going to have a GT on 17th, 18th, and uh, uh, one GT is actually uh, today, uh, uh, sorry, 20th of September, which already we had done. So, uh, as of now, the first uh, and the, the, the GT, which you are going to have the ex uh, access is on the 18th of October. And I would also suggest that right now it's not a time to give a lot of GTs, right? So, uh, one GT is going to be good enough. Rather, we invest that time in doing some more MCQs, the PYQs of the INICP that is going to uh, help you. Now, coming to the level of quotient which has been made in this paper. The level of the quotient and the topics of the quotient has already always been in thought of mind and uh, uh, to cover the very high yield topic of INIC. Now, when it comes to, for example, biochemistry, the quotient that has been picked for INICT for your exam in this particular session, you will see that the quotient are going to be the same level. They are going to simulate and uh, give you the feeling of the same paper which you are going to have. Along with that, that is going to cover when we will be do explaining those things in, in a very short span of time, although it is just going to be one hour session or something like that, when we'll be discussing those things, that is going to take care of all the very high yield topics as well as from the topics, what are the points that is very important for you. So that way, what you can do is, for example, if you start doing the revision with the subject, let's say you started with medicine, then every day you will have a schedule with you because I have told you that in the first 20 days, we have to do the first uh, complete revision of all 19 subjects. So if we, if we go along with that, we are going to more or less, we'll be able to complete the things on 29th, 20, 30th of October. This is what we are planning. The first 20 days, we are the, the same schedule. If you are not having any schedule, let's follow the same schedule and you prepare, you do the, you give the test and you see the discussion. Then again, the next day you have the target that, okay, I have to do now pediatrics and then I have a test at 10, uh, uh, whatever time you want to give the test, you will give the test and then the discussion will be on the following day. And likewise, you will have a schedule. You have to quickly go through that. And once you complete this, this is designed in a way that you will complete this and then, then you are going to have a span of 10 days left with you. Uh, almost nine to nine to 10 days will be with you. And uh, in the nine to 10 days, uh, in the last nine days, we'll do the, Again, one more complete revision, very quick. And on the last day, the photos. I would suggest that uh, if I would have been at your place, I would have done that. So uh, this is the plan that is there. And uh, if uh, you have any question regarding this uh, particular plan, means how you, you can access or uh, the, the team is there. 
the numbers are given for you and uh, you can connect with them and they will help you uh, to where these tests are happening and how you can get all these things. Now, coming to, again, the, the preparation part. Just a minute. So let me summarize what we have. Uh, I don't want to take a lot of time of yours in this very precious moment of the last one month. So the I would say four take-home messages. The first, have firm belief in yourself. You are going to make it happen. It's not that difficult. It's nothing like that. You, you are very good eligible. You have a very good chance to do that. Let's have a firm belief on you. It's no other than exam. Like it's the same exam like me, PG only for us. Now coming to the second part. Uh, the planning of the revision should be done in 12 plus 9 plus 1 minute. Uh, 12 plus, uh, sorry, 20 plus 9 plus 1 minute. In 20, the first division, in the 9th, second division, and in the one, we are going to do all the images which are very important for us. We will click the photos and we'll do this. When you are doing the revision of your notes, meanwhile, every day you have to spare some time to do, for example, let's say uh, I am having, I, I am following the schedule which is provided by Dr. Royals, the 20 tests which they are going to provide, I am going to do that. When you are doing that, for example, uh, I am having a test of pediatrics tomorrow. So I started today morning with pediatrics. I am revising, revising, revising. I have completed it. And then I will try to do all the PYQs of the pediatrics related to INICT, which has came. And then I will appear in the test. That has to be the mindset that I have to put. And then I will appear it. it. It is going to be a tedious task. It's not going to be that easy that in single day, you are going to complete the entire notes. And then you are going to do the PYQs also. And then you are going to appear for the test. If you have to run fast. But trust me that if you run fast, Somehow you'll be able to complete it. May not be hundred percent, but at least 80, 85 percent will be achieved. And then when you will do the second revision in the nine days, again it is going to enhance that retention. And then one day is again further is going to increase your retention, and that is going to increase your uh, output also. Right. So I, I hope that uh, uh, the message that I've wanted to deliver to you, uh, uh, I have tried to deliver it to you, and I hope you have understood that. Uh, what I want to convey to you. If anything is there, you can uh, write in the chat box. Uh, we'll try, try to take up that. But uh, from my core that I want to say to you is, it's not that we can't do it. Because we have to enter in the battlefield with the thought that, yes, I am going to make it happen. I am the strongest opponent which is here. I am keen here to do that. Right? However difficult it is going to be, however it is easy it is going to be, however whether I am very good or not, doesn't make much difference. You have to that, that thought process and yes, you are going to make it happen. Yes. So we all are waiting for you to see there in the RDX session. The questions are not going to be easy. I'm just giving you the insight. It is going to be the top-notch questions. I have personally gone, every faculty, just not me, every faculty has gone through those questions. They have made, they have curated those questions very nicely to keep the level, the simulation the same way like it is there in the NEET-PG exam. So see you there in the test papers of RDX and then in the discussion part. Wishing you all the very best. Let's make it happen. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, sir.